Now we know that PBC has got a history of not wanting their fighters to fight outside of the PBC brand. Hey, this is Mike from Edgeno 50 TV talking about boxing. And today I'm going to be talking about Eddie Hearn, his latest interview he did with Boxing Social. I'm going to go in detail about it. And do you know what's what I'm going to do? I'm going to play the clips that the highlights of what he was talking about. And I'm going to give you my opinion on it. So this is going to be quite a long video. I might split it into segments. I don't know. I'm just going to say what I feel about what he's talking about. And then when I put it on, you can watch the whole thing. So without further ado, we're going to get cracking. But before I do, hit that subscribe button and that like button if you're liking this video because I'm planning to do more videos like this on the regular. And I want to see your feedback. What's your opinions on this whole thing? So anyways, let's get started. I mean, you can't criticize Ryan Garcia because he's swerving Devin Haney. He's calling out Tank Davis, but something, I don't know. I, I just don't, Oscar De La Hoya, Robert Diaz, Eric Gomez, they know boxing. And they know that was a big risk fighting Luke Campbell. And like I said, in the second round, I think they were probably thinking, all my life, what's going on here? But they also know that uh, Ryan Garcia, he's not ready to tank. You know, there were a lot of unanswered questions about Devin Haney. I believe Devin Haney could be the best 135 pounder in the world, but he has to prove it. And this is the frustrating thing for Devin is he wants, you know, don't forget he went down the WBC route to fight Lomachenko to become his mandatory. And now we need that breakout fight. And I don't feel like that breakout fight is Javier Fortuna, who's a good fighter, but we need that breakout high profile fight. And we were so happy when Luke Campbell and Ryan Garcia got made because Devin, Devin Haney's fighting the winner. I mean, obviously I wanted Luke to win, but I particularly wanted Luke to win because I knew Luke would fight Devin Haney for the WBC world title. So you know, when you look at Ryan Garcia against Javonta Davis, one's with the zone, one's with Fox or at Showtime, you know, I, I can't, you know, Javonta's not going to fight on the zone. Ryan Garcia contractually through Golden Boy can't box on Fox. So is that just to get people talking or, you know, is there something going on? I know that from the zone's point of view, the zone want to make Devin Haney against Ryan Garcia in April. That's, that's the fight. That's the fight. Yes, Ryan Garcia, the zone, Javonta Davis on Fox or Showtime, but it can happen if the networks, if the fighters, if the promoters want it to happen. Is cross promotion has happened before. Uh, you know, especially with the zone fighters, especially with matchroom fighters, where they're for ESPN fighters. Now we know that PBC has got a history of not wanting their fighters to fight outside of the PBC brand, which he may be referring to as to why that might be difficult. But PBC, make no mistake, if they see an opportunity for an easy win, and that's on the DAZN side, or on the ESPN side, then PBC will have no hesitation in making sure the fight gets made. So do I think Ryan Garcia is ready for Javonta Davis? That's a separate question altogether. But can the fight be made? I believe the fight can be made and based on what Ryan Garcia and Javonta Davis, both of them won it, that's half the job done already. 